yeah. Yeah, we got this. Right here. I almost forgot. It's the move. I almost forgot about this video. <laughs> my nigga Tommy Energy, folk. My, my, my nigga Tommy. No, not just that. That's what I'm talking about. What the fuck was that? Hey, Ma, you seen that show? That shit was flashing purple. The trauma of childhood shows. Nah, chat. What was your favorite childhood show growing up? Mass was Cursed, the Cowley Dog. Uh, well, Sweet Life, Zack and Cody. Motherfucking Tom and Jerry. Fucking. Fucking. What else? What else I watch? Kim Possible, Teen Titans. Uh, a little bit of Avatar. Fucking, what else I watch? Damn, I watch a lot of shit. Uh, what the fuck is that show called? What's it called? Hold on, chat. Ah, what the fuck is that bitch called? Mmm. Good luck, Charlie. Well, that's not really a cartoon. <sighs> Never mind. Gravity Falls, Hannah Montana, Avatar. The one most common human trait everyone shares is having some sort of childhood trauma. Whether it was yeah. daddy getting a demotion. Well, Lord knows I got a lot of childhood trauma. And my mama says she in the chat, she can vouch for me. <laughs> Lord knows I got a lot of that bitch. You're not working, taking out the anger on you after it. Daddy just poof, Chicago not and being there the for you. Falling off the playground slide and being left with the Oh my God. And, yo. <laughs> Hey, you know what's so funny? You remind me of this time when I was at the park when I was a little boy. This was so long ago. I was a little ass boy. It was this kid. We was at the park. It was his last boy. I remember he was climbing on top of the slide, like on top of it, because it was like one of them tube type slats. And like he was climbing on top of it, right? And I remember I was on top of the little bridge way, and the slat was like right there, if that makes sense. And he slipped and he fell. Keep mad, we was like super high, but he was low. So if he would have failed, he would have really hurt himself. And all I remember is I grabbed this nigga hand, and this nigga was just dangling in the air. And I grabbed this nigga hand on some fucking superhero shit. Hey, Ma, you in the chat? You remember that shit? I saved some little boy from hurting himself or dying. I grabbed this nigga hand like, oh shit! It was just a reflex. I went. If that was for that that kid, lucky as hell. His parents went over there like, oh my god, oh my god. I let his ass go. Let call his ass at the blue part. Yes, the little blue part. Over there, you know what part I'm talking about. Yes, third degree that one. Burns known to man. There's so many things that can happen in your childhood that permanently scar you for the rest of your life. Oh, and the God. one source of joy you have to got childhood from trauma this check. cool world as a kid is cartoons. Kids could have came straight off Epstein. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. The only cartoon that traumatized me when I was a shorty was Courage and Cowardly Dog and Invader Zim. Those were the two uh, cartoons that traumatized the fuck out of me. That's it. Evader Zim. Actually, Adventure Time too. I'm gonna tell you why Adventure Time. Because Adventure Time, y'all remember um uh the the lemon nigga in Adventure Time? I forgot folks' name. The lemon guy, the lemon nigga. I remember there was a certain episode where I guess I think he ate his brother or son or whatever. That shit scared the fuck out of me when I was little. Cause that boy Lemon guy used to creep me the fuck out, Shorty. That's that episode traumatized me. He had ate his other half. That shit scared the fuck out of me. Invade Zim, curse Cowley Dolfo. I'm telling y'all niggas. Vote with the most them traumatic and disgusting memories oh, ingrained in their brain. <laughs> but if they turn on one of the classic seasons of SpongeBob, not gonna lie, all of that trauma would go away for those 10 minutes. We Facts. all have our favorite cartoons growing up, of course, that we cherish to this day. But as much joy as they caused, I'm also starting to realize how much genuine trauma people actually have from cartoons. Like, there's so many callbacks to things people only find out and realize when they're older that were really odd. I think one yes. of the most universally f***ed up confusing things they would have in cartoons is freeze frames. What yes! With like the, the character face would be super, super detailed, folks. It's a freeze frame, you may oh, ask? And you remember? Oh, how can I forget? And The Adventures of Flapjack. I think that's what the other show's called. If you know exactly what I'm talking about, Advent Adventures of Flapjack, that shit was creepy as Fuck, that show has so many fucking freeze frames, folks. And that show's creepy as hell. When you were eight, casually watching an episode of Spongebob, and, and in the middle of all the goofy frame. shenanigans going on, it would just be the most disgusting, yeah. haunting, repulsive frame of... 
something in the camera for a split second. Legit, I still have zero clue why they were just randomly throwing these frames every couple of random episodes. I know for a fact the writers was probably sitting up there. I remember the uh the butterfly one where uh <laughs> Patrick and them was trying to catch some butterflies and that butterfly was on Patrick's <laughs> That shit was funny dying, too. laughing, making these frames, just thinking, <laughs> oh man, this is some good shit right man, here. These little creepy. rascals won't see it coming. And the thing is, to the writers, they probably thought it would just be oh. some funny little joke to do and no one would actually think twice about it. But I've heard from a lot of people that are grown now, they still think back to them. And I also understand that feeling because some of these frames were definitely more disturbing than they should have been. My personal top three for the worst SpongeBob frames are the Nasty Patty frame. This one mainly Ew. got me because as a kid you're not used to seeing the most molded out disgusting food ever you know i was used to seeing a tv commercial s burger or one out of a big mac container but this like why does it have pimples with a pus coming out the top why is there mold coming from the meat leaking substance from the middle it's just gross the next one is this still frame of oh this one i remember seeing this shit this shit did some shit to me mentally like Imagine you a little kid, right? It's dark. You watching SpongeBob? You up? Lazy hill. You chilling? Hoo hoo. You know, ha ha, giggling and shit. You a little ass kid, right, folks? You watching SpongeBob out of nowhere, and this pops up. It's dark as hell, and you just see this. I don't understand why they thought kids was gonna laugh at this or something. Like, oh my God, it's a suit, folks. When I was little and I seen this shit, I didn't laugh at this shit. This shit fucking terrified the fuck out of me. And I ain't, and I don't scare easily. I'm not a nigga you can scare easily. Even when I was little, ask my people about me. I'm, I didn't scare easily. I wasn't even afraid of the dark when I was little. I love scary movies. But seeing shit like this out of nowhere would literally fuck you up. I'm SpongeBob telling y'all this. Like, like for never real. Never in my life should I have saw Spongebob this detailed in the show as Ew. a kid. Nigga looks like the local crackhead you could find behind your local 7-Eleven. It's something about his beet red eyes, veins protruding and pulsing from his skin, his teeth rotting and falling out, the ingrown hairs at the top of his head. It kind of reminds me of those pictures of those ultra-realistic cartoon characters that really just shouldn't exist. Like when they make Mario- Oh my fucking god. I remember seeing this shit. Shit was creepy. And they made a realistic Homer Simpson and a realistic Patrick. Look too realistic or the Simpsons characters. Ew! Fuck! Oh my god. Hey, Chad, this is gonna be in your motherfucking room tonight. Look too realistic. And the last one that by far tops all of them is the Mr. Krabs. <laughs> How the fuck does this nigga have a daughter? This feels way too NSFW, so YouTube, just keep in mind that this is an animated crap from Right, Spongebob. Twitch, this is an animated crap. This is not real, right? The nigga don't even got no dick. A family-friendly kid show. You yes. can't make this up, though. This is a real frame in Spongebob. I, I don't know. Maybe my mind is just up now Demon because Sponge of the Bob internet and, and seeing still frames like this i can never look at these images more. the same anymore but you can't lie this frame looks like a diabolical <laughs> edit could be made to it. the way you oh, i ain't gonna lie like this is just like he finna do some shit to this nigga playing his mouth i'm sorry i'm sorry this shit just looks like this shit looks like a fucking so I ain't finna do some shit this nigga Plankton. And Krabs is just staring down <coughs> with his body all glistening and lighting. The way Plankton has his mouth. That just don't look right. And to me as a little little kid, I thought I was seeing a grown ass man naked for the first time. I thought I was finally getting the treatment of what happens to kids if you don't follow the stranger danger rule and get into the stranger's van. But it's just crazy that there's so many odd frames like this in Spongebob you really remember even if it was just for a split second. And if you didn't grow with Spongebob, you might be looking at this like, huh, y'all were really scared of shit like this? Man, I, I was watching beheading videos at five years old. But you have to understand. I ain't gonna lie. I low key was too. But you ain't here for me. Shit. I remember coming back home from school. Uh, me and my brother and sister getting off the bus. We seen a, we seen a nigga stretch right there on the motherfucking uh ground. 
A nigga was shot dead right there on them uh, motherfucking ground, folk. Right in front of our fucking crib, like two houses down. But, eh, that's just everyday shit in Chicago. That was doing the little drill era in Chicago. We literally came off above just a nigga right there. Bullet holes all in his back. And as a crazy. kid, your knowledge is very little, and you only start learning things in the real world up until that. Oh, but it wasn't just SpongeBob doing this. I remember <laughs> another distinct cartoon show that was even worse at it. The Marvelous Misadventure. That's what it's called. The Marvelous Misadventure of Flapjack. I was kind of right, though. This shit, folk, Curse the Cowardly Dog and Flapjack are literally known for just scary ass shit. But this show right here... Well, I feel for this show right here would literally purposely go out its way to fucking terrify the fuck out of you. Then it was good, Flapjack. but this Flapjack show was, was so really the type of show where you me. just had to be there for it. If you don't know, do. Flapjack is about a little sailor boy and his captain friend who live inside of a whale next to a floating dock full of thugs and trashy people. They live there in hopes of finding a map to Candy Island. Candy Island where they can hopefully live at to eat as much candy as they want forever. Yeah, Flapjack's concept sounds totally f***ing insane for people that have never seen it, yeah. but Flapjack was a classic. Shit was a classic. I can't lie. And if you think Spongebob has some creep- That's why I just said you did- Spongebob ain't got shit on Flapjack when it comes to creepy ass still images. Creepy ass images? <laughs> Wait until you see Flapjack. Oh For example, one of Flapjack's episodes called Who Let the Cats Out of the Old Bag's House? Flapjack is walking around and finds this random cat on the dock. And as Flapjack goes to pick up the cat, it randomly gives us this close-up. I remember this shit. I remember this shit. This shit scared the fuck out of me. I remember I ran to my mom. <laughs> hey, G. Oh my cousin, Shreddy. I ran to my fucking mama when I seen this shit. For hell no, you got me fucked up. This shit's gonna the, the fuck when out I of me. When I say there's zero warning, no build up, he literally just picks it up and it pauses on this frame. That frame alone clears all of SpongeBob and is enough to give a kid permanent PTSD nightmares. And Flapjack was doing this all the time so, with these disturbing the ass time. frames. This one, this I remember this. This one. This one. I remember this one. Cause I thought I worried. I watched the fuck out one, the show. This one. I remember this one, one. This one. That is a cut off finger with the tendon still hanging out. They was really wilding with all these random ass frames thrown in the show randomly. But the cartoon that took the random creepy images frame to the max was courage. Well, I just say, curse cowardly dog. The cowardly dog. There is no the most infamous scary. For I don't give a fuck what y'all say. This is not a cartoon. This is a horror cartoon show. No way on good gods heathens this show would ever pass the air for kids now. By far, we're talking and, about uh, random creepy. You kids nowadays, this generation shorty. Look, back in my day when I was a little boy. This shit wouldn't even L for like kids of this generation. This shit dead ass will scare the fuck out of you. Y'all couldn't watch this Anyways, shit. It beats the race and laps everyone in it 10 times. For example, this scene when Courage is just casually sleeping on the bed and it cuts away to this creature. I think I know what this is. This shit right here. I think this was the uh, computer shit, folk. I, yo, this shit, yo. Yo. This shit, this CGI ass, fucking weird ass, incubus ass shit. Yo, I don't know what to say. I still know what the fuck this was. Some shit, yo, see what you has here. In general, this is just top 10 scariest things to ever come out of cartoon episodes in the 2000s. Shit, I'm still creeped out looking you at remember this thing. These and shit? you have so many scenes with these nightmare-esque cutaways that everyone remembers at least one now. You got the classic return. Oh yeah, everybody remember this shit. This one, oh shit, what the fuck? Everybody remember this shit. This one, I can't even. Burn the slab clip. He got to show the, uh, the other one. With this creature. This entire episode. This one, right here. This one. This shit was fucking creepy. With and the nigga, oh, uh, that you, the nigga that was cutting fuck, that was obsessed with like cutting hair, that nigga too. This white mask Fred. creature thing, whatever Fred. the f this floating white this head was, yes. the freaky. Bar this nigga Fred, I think this nigga named Fred. Arbor episode, the alien brain episode with a bunch of the creepy little alien minglings. But out of everything that came out from this show, the one thing I'll always truly remember is how much of a use this was. Yo, fuck useless folk. Fuck this bitch ass hate. This nigga is a prone hating ass nigga. 
built body, big ass shoe. Boy, this nigga. Why this nigga at? Hold on, I just know some shit. Why this nigga chin matches with like the the like tip of his shoes? Ew. To this day, me and my homies hate Eustace. It's all safe if I see him. Another thing I want to talk about is even how some of the little kid shows back then were creepy. Uh, Teletubbies. At so, hey. So can we can we all agree just have a discussion of why like motherfuckers actually felt like this was like kid friendly to kids and come to find out these motherfuckers are damn near like eight feet fucking tall as the main example whichever tv producers gave the green light for teletubbies to air on tv need to be found and interrogated to this day i haven't had anybody ever come up to me and be like oh man teletubbies man Never. that was really my thing as a kid <laughs> takes me back to amazing memories and a great time where there were no worries in life no 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 everyone just universally looks at this show back to how creepy everything is about it first off the look tell me tell me what type of child friendly image is a bunch of colorful midget men with large black eyes and yellow pupils it's exactly what i would have imagined the monster in my closet would look like as a kid and doing some research for this video according to google they're seven to ten feet tall yep. nigga should have been balling on the court with shaq and kobe why are they out dancing just seen and dancing? me just seeing this motherfucker or just this Seven to eight feet tall, fucking disgusting ass giant just walking towards you. In a magical prairie field. I think the fact that they're that tall is real too, because in the show you can see they barely fit in their own lab. And the sun green screen baby. <laughs> I swear, for a couple of years as a kid, I couldn't even look up to the sun without getting a PTSD seizure from remembering this ugly ass baby. And the last thing, they had this weird vacuum creature that would randomly yeah, just. This fondle the tubbies every once in a while okay i might yeah he tried to you know what I oh my god i just thought about some shit i remember some shit about that shit. i'm not never mind, i ain't gonna say be that. a little off with that one it was more like the thing would just you know annoy them and be a nuisance but it was creepy regardless i think it was just I've the seen, live aspect with mind. kids shows like this mind. back then i could say the same thing about barney no grown person thinks of barney in a kid-friendly way now it's some type of i ain't gonna lie barney was a pedophile i don't give a fuck what y'all say that thing was a pedophile that nigga gave me pedophile vibes. I'm sorry. He that nigga gave me pedophile vibes. I ain't gonna lie. That's why that nigga creeped me the out. Horror meme of him just looking weird. And apparently the creators of Teletubbies made a spin-off show later on with some of the creatures that were a bit more family friendly looking. I didn't even know about it until researching for this video. Really? But the show was called Booba. Maybe some of y'all know. And this is how the characters look. How is it possible that they Nigga, I ain't gonna lie, this shit's still fucking creepy. Made even creepier characters for kids to watch. Booba is definitely the type of show kids watch that formed all these school shooters. But you know what? I'll grant it to them. It wasn't all of the shows. Like, shout out to Yo Gabba Gabba. Those were some real niggas right there. I want to go back to SpongeBob Facts. real quick because although up to this point I've been mentioning scary episodes from shows that were meant to be somewhat scary, SpongeBob has some of the most unintentional traumatizing episodes that people are still scarred by like going back to the nasty patty episode this is an episode where spongebob and mr krabs actually f kill someone i'm gonna give a quick recap of it for y'all that don't remember but pretty much in the episode the health inspector walks into the crusty crab to do what health inspectors do and mr krabs seeing this yeah, and they gave him work and that shit killed his ass not wanting the crusty crab to shut down supplies the health inspector with unlimited food to satisfy him and make sure he doesn't actually lose then a report on tv comes up saying that a fake health inspector has been tricking people to eat in their restaurants for free and we all know how mr krabs cheap ass gets when it comes to moolah so him and spongebob thinking he's the fake health inspector they saw on tv decide to make the most disgusting concoction known to man and serve it to him as revenge and right when the inspector's about to eat the burger a fly goes into his mouth that kills him which leads to spongebob and mr Krabs yeah, trying to bury the body why am i as a child witness yo that's actually crazy though they really killed a nigga in a kid show Wow. Seeing a cartoon sponge and crab committing first-degree murder and burial. Granted, in the episode, he didn't 
actually die like he comes back at the end and is okay but now you think my brain would interpret that shit you've also got some honorable mentions like the hash slinging slasher episode with nose for Ratu at the end the splinter episode where his finger ends up looking like this the episode where everyone turns into a snail like gary the episode where he gets stuck at the bottom of the trenches with all of the aliens that are talking like this the episode with the green screen gorilla actually no no I, I was gonna finish it here but whoever approved this episode needs to especially go f themselves everything about the gorilla episode was so traumatizing it's also random too like at the end of the episode the gorilla just randomly unzips oh, yeah. himself from a skin costume of patrick proceeds to pick up patrick and sandy put them in a sack and beat what them the for fuck? hours meanwhile spongebob is just watching helplessly through his window as we see the gorilla beating the hell out of them through the window then when spongebob finally decides to man up and step outside the gorilla immediately sees him why do i slightly remember all this shit? i think the scariest aspect about this episode is that it's, it's not really played for any type of comedic joke the gorilla looks so serious in these beatings i just had to talk about that episode that actually might be number one in this entire list it's so odd that spongebob is like the universally most watched kids show and has these unintentional scarring moments we all remember and really that's what a lot of these childhood Shit, shows geez. and cartoons are it's that childhood trauma aspect of it these moments really sat with a lot of us and even after the scarring we have from seeing the live leak videos and everything twitter has to offer so you would yo if i count me live leak fucking videos i've been seeing them niggas getting their face blown off and motherfuckers getting their head chopped off let me say to fuck you this up stuff just wouldn't phase us anymore but even the most disturbed internet minds seen every type of gore you could imagine online will still get a trauma flashback to any one of these shows follow me on twitter instagram and tiktok as always i love you guys consensually and until next time i'm out i like that w vid man shout out my boy tommy and fg man w fucking vid man w fucking vid and that's just fucking facts that shit is trauma vid okay okay